Hey everyone, before this video starts, I'd like to give a special thank you to all my Patreon and Twitch subscribers. If you'd like to learn how to support this channel, possibly for free, just hang out till the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hello, beautiful people. Uh, I just wanted to take a second to apologize. Okay. To Chelsea. I'm very sorry that our friendship has come to this. Why? What exactly happened? I'm very sorry for not being the effective communicator that I wanted to be. I may be pregnant with your child, and you are apologizing for your communication. I have an ache that lives deep in my womb, Lance. Oh, wow. Okay, I just need a second. <laughs> Holy moly. I... Was not expect. <laughs> Holy Jesus! I'm sorry. I just w I was not expecting this. Okay, composure. And sometimes I just cry from my soul about it. Okay. And I sent you so many messages, opening up to you about that. You knew. You knew. You fucking knew. I guess he's the one calling us Jesus. I wonder what's happening here. You fucking knew. I never would have opened up my body that intimately to you. With the trauma that gives me anxiety attacks, my anxiety that manifests in my stomach and I puke. What happened? From that trauma, I still puke. I still feel nausea multiple times enough from the anxiety and the trigger responses from that, from that, from that experience. And you knew, and you knew the whole time. What's the experience? Who dare about? try to apologize for your communication? Why don't you apologize for taking advantage of my vulnerability to get in my pants? I hate I hate videos like this sometimes because I, for me, it's like well, you made this whole ass video and then you you laid a sad song underneath it and it feels a little bit performative. And I don't know the specifics of what's going on. I just feel like when you're trying to say something very genuine, it comes off as very ingenuine when you overlay a sad song underneath it. You know what I mean? It seems like it just seems weird. Okay. You knew I never would have ever slept with you without a condom. Had I known what was going on, I found out on TikTok. Okay. I found out on TikTok. Lance. Okay, so basically, what it sounds like happened is Lance what cheated on his wife or whatever, and slept with this person, and didn't tell her that he was married. That's shitty. But like, why? What's? Why are we having? That is that the appropriate response? Like, listen, this just proves this to me. Men are garbage, okay? And that's coming from a man. <laughs> and I've been telling you motherfuckers from the start, every single time, be very cautious of male-identifying feminists, okay? Was he stealthing? I don't think he stealthed. What's to, it sounded like from what she said is that she consensually slept with him without a condom, but she's upset because he was lied and cheated on his wife, and that upset her. That's the what I got the interpretation, right? I know what was going on. I found out on TikTok. You knew I never would have ever slept with you without a condom. Had I known what was going on, I found out on. Yeah, so it sounds like she consensually slept with him without a condom on, and then found out that he that he was had a wife or something or something was going on and that she got upset okay i'm a little curious so i want to preface this post by saying every rumor you've heard about this person hitherto on this app has been made up by neo-nazis bent on killing him what? none of that is true it's a crock of shit okay i've spent the evening being screamed at by a person i thought was my friend and Who's it's that? wrong but i do not wish I heard okay, so I'm I think because somebody sent this to me, but I, I somebody was like, Papa guy, can you look into the modern warrior drama? And I looked at like one video of Lance, and he's like, I he would he made an apology video for posting 
uh for like yelling at somebody i was like okay i don't care and then he already removed it so i don't have that video but i'm assuming there was a core video where he 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 lashed out back at her i don't know he colonized her womb very good charm or vengeance on this person i did make a post in anger earlier today and it was wrong okay i shouldn't have and i want to clear this air okay i've been friends with lance sosi for the last year okay And for the last six months, we were romantically involved. Wow. uh, Working towards meeting. That's very interesting because he was romantically involved with her. But then he also hit on that one other girl that we talked about. And apparently he's also married. And it's going crazy. Apparently he was married as well. Uh, and he, fl- he, he was talking about how he needed to escape white supremacy or something that had doxed him. But it, some, some people were saying, and I can't hundred percent confirm this, but he just disappeared, uh, because he, his wife kicked him out and he needed money. So he's like, Oh, I need money to fight white supremacy. And then he just moved it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Being each other and seeing if we could pursue a long-term relationship. Uh, okay. Lance became my friend very soon after I lost the baby and I'd been having panic attacks for the first time in my life. And that's he sad. supported me beautifully through those things. Okay, and, that's um, good. Really made me feel safe and eventually I fell for him and told him and I kept having the panic attacks and he just kept telling me to open up and trust him and he wanted to protect me. And I really think he wanted to protect me. Yeah, okay. I really think he wanted to do good. Um, and I really trusted him and I kept telling him that this is very, uh, I don't do this and I, this is very strange and new. And he brought up once or twice that he'd been listening to a podcast about polyamory and he asked me what I thought of that. And I said, no, I couldn't do that. And given all the romantic messages we were sending, I thought he would oblige until we can talk about it later okay uh and so under that pretense we never talked about it again bro talk (laughs) taking someone taking well i guess talking to someone while they're vulnerable and making them trust you is grooming oh my god bro listen like holy shit with the inflammatory language like knock it off with this everything's fucking a trigger word bro what it sounds like is lance is like a manipulative fuck boy like it's shitty what he did was like really shitty but I mean, oh my God! Like we're having this like this insane meltdown over this. This is this is insane. Like this this girl like got manipulated. It sounds like, and it was shitty. But oh my God! Like grooming. Shut the fuck up! Oh my God! And under that pretense of understanding that I needed to be the only one, I flew to De- Denver and I had unprotected sex with him. In less than 24 hours after Hold on. I couldn't do that. And given all the romantic messages we were sending, I thought he would oblige until we could talk about it later. Okay. Uh, and so under that pretense, we never talked about it again. And under that pretense of understanding that I needed to be the only one, I flew to De- Denver and I had unprotected sex with him. Okay. In less than 24 hours after I had had unprotected sex with him, um, I found out that he was on a date with another woman because he posted a TikTok with her. He never told me. And when I can. Oh, my God. That's like that's a special confident kind of asshole. Holy shit. He's like, I'm going to fuck this girl. And then I'm going to put a TikTok up for some other girl right after. Are you fucking kidding me? Holy shit. Oh, man. But also, like, this music is, is something else, huh? Friend of him, he said, I was going to tell you. Okay. Lance, you knew full well I wouldn't have bought that ticket had I explicitly known you were seeing other people. You felt entitled to my body because I trusted you. You felt entitled to my body because I had publicly supported you. You... You violated. It's just so funny, though. Like, in all, like, listen, I think that her reaction, I think her reaction is actually very appropriate. I just think that the people looking at her reaction is not appropriate. And I want to try to explain, right? Because this is something that happens a lot. You have 
a fucking person who like identifies as a feminist and like, oh, I'm gonna, I like women and I respect them, who is disrespecting women. He did a shitty manipulative thing to this girl. That's very common. Like, I'm not trying to be an asshole. It's a very fuckboy bullshit, like shitty thing. And her response is like anger and expressing that. And that's totally valid. And I think that everything that she's saying is valid. It does come off as a little dishonest when you run a fucking song underneath it. But people's response, like, oh, you were groomed and shit. It's like, shut the fuck up. Like, chill the fuck out. Like, that's the, dispropor- the, 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 the disproportionate aspect of the response. It's like, this fucking idiot. Oh, you were groomed. Oh, my God. Like, listen, not for nothing, but like every woman in the whole world was groomed. There, there's no reason for the word groomed then. Grooming is reserved. is a very deep, methodical process of setting somebody up for sexual abuse. She wasn't groomed. Okay? Or they, I don't know. I'm assuming she is fine. Okay. They, they, whatever. They are not, they weren't groomed. This person wasn't groomed. Shut the fuck up. Okay. She was emotionally vulnerable. That's different from being in a situation where you are like fundamentally lacking the ability to consent. Like that's, it's such a different, it's just so different. It's just so different. My trust. I almost want an STD test. Well, you should get an STD test. Yeah. You You say one thing and you do another and I have no idea what I... I wouldn't doubt he colonized you with some crabs. You know what I mean? He's just reversing the oppression if you think about it, bro. He's just doing his his duty (laughs) to reverse the oppression. I don't need to believe from you anymore. Please don't cancel him. Please don't ruin his life. I think he can genuinely do better. And I want to give him the opportunity. I probably don't think he could do better. I think that he... Like, listen, if you are the kind of person that becomes like a, a very, if you, you gain a lot of traction, you gain a lot of followers off of like uh, social narratives and you can't even adhere to them. Like you gain a big following off of protecting women, but you don't even respect women. You, you, what you're doing is very intentional. Like, you know that you're a piece of shit and you think that you're above the, the rules that you lay out for yourself. <laughs> You know, like it's like holy fuck, and, and especially when you when Modern War, he go he walks around with this incredibly self inflated idea of who he is, and that's the part of the, that's the problem. Is it's like somebody who goes out of their way to constantly cancel people. They you, when you do that, it's the, when you set out to constantly cancel people, which is different from criticisms. But when you set out to constantly cancel people, like. You're walking around touting the fact that, oh, well, I'm a virtuous person that does no wrong. And then you get slammed and now you look like a fucking idiot. Like he's this is this isn't like, listen, I've been in a situation where like I was banned. And like, listen, I think it was justifiable because I went too far. But that I'm not jerking myself off that experience is really not the norm. It's not normal to fuck up pretty bad. And then actually self-reflect genuinely and come to terms. And when I say that, I'm not saying that because I'm better than anybody. I literally, the only reason that this happened for me is because I talk about all the time Blackbird, like fourth, like Blackbird from TikTok. I'm going to throw him up here. Like he, we had a conversation that really was very illuminating for me. And um, so the only, which is basically, which, which is basically, thank you so much for this, bro. Which is basically like if you don't have this individual, this person that knows what they're talking about and is willing to sit down with you and have a genuine conversation, you're not, it's not going to happen for you. And on top of the fact that you have to be a, a, a fairly genuine person too. Like I'm not trying to be an asshole. Lance doesn't come off as a genuine person. As shitty as I was, I, I do think that I'm, as, I'm a genuine person. I try to be as genuine as possible. So you need somebody who will go out of their way, like Blackbird did for me, to like have a conversation with you in like very good faith about the person that he knows you to be versus the person that you're becoming. And you got to be genuine and open and open to 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 the nay nay, you know. But I don't, I really, and I'm not, I don't see that in Lance. I just don't see that. I I'm just telling you, it's not a conceited thing. I just simply don't see it in this person. Um, to not be a misogynist. Okay. This so is a, he wasn't messaging a 16-year-old with the same intention. A lie that was made up by a jealous neo-Nazi. Lance would never do this. He is, <laughs> this is not what he's being accused of. And I would appreciate it if everyone stopped spreading this rumor explicitly. So this wasn't made up by a jealous neo-Nazi. My, my understanding is that there was this girl. I made a video about this. this there's a girl. Uh, let's see. Modern Warrior Papa Gut. 
right here. So this girl right here, not the old, I mean that you could confuse that person for a girl, but this girl right here, uh, you, you, <laughs> I made this thumbnail so stupid. What had happened is they were beefing and he said that she, uh, had like the mentality of a 16 year old girl. And then he tried to hit on her. And then she's like, Oh, I thought you said I had the mentality of a 16 year old girl. Like, you know what I mean? Making that point. Right. So it's not like a white supremacist thing. Also knock it off with the fucking song. Lance violated my body in a way I didn't consent to. Oh my god. Lance Lance did not violate her body. Lance violated her trust. It is a difference here. We're using very loaded language. Okay. I did not consent to unprotected sex with multiple partners. Um, there is no way that he could have misinterpreted my intentions with him. Yeah, that's true. Sure. Again, that's like a violation of trust more than body. Him. I was explicit. I had been learning Navajo for him. I had bought lingerie wow. for us months ago for, to, for me to wear for him. I had bought him gift cards for Christmas. Oh my God. Wait, what? What did he, I'm curious. What did he get you? What's up, Mama Gut? What did he get you that you were buying him lingerie? She bought lingerie. She was learning Navajo. She was, she bought the flight to see him. I, do, listening to this is very interesting because I'm picking up on some things, right? And I'm like, she was really dumping herself into him. What was she getting in return? Mama Gut goes, she slept with him. That's embarrassing. Yeah, I mean, I'd be embarrassed too. But like, what was he was he doing anything nice for her or was he just he, like this is some genuine fuckboy shit like tell me that this isn't genuine fuckboy shit especially all the girls watching some guy comes into your life he, he talks really nice about you he listens to your problems and then you buy him a bunch of shit <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> you know what I'm saying here uh Okay. Um, all for him to buy things for us when we're together. Oh, there we go. Okay. Wait, oh, oh, wait. All that was for him to buy stuff for them when they were together. Did he do that? Um, this was extremely romantic oh. and extremely personal and extremely vulnerable for me. And he's going to say it's his revenge on white people or something. To be absolutely honest with you, if Lance came out and said, I did it as revenge to white people, I think I would respect him more. Because at least he had a motive for why he fucked this girl over. But if he just did it because this is the person he is, I mean, that's really shit. I mean, it's shitty both ways. But at least I could, I could get, I could get behind the "fuck you, whitey" narrative more than I can get behind the um, pretend to respect women and then disrespect women. You know what I'm saying? I was taken advantage of in that trust. That's true. Your trust was in a way that around. I just didn't consent to. I did not consent to that sex that's the problem this is the problem i have here. you consented to the sex you consent i don't like the narrative she's pushing because she's trying to make this argument that she was sexually assaulted okay you consented to the sex um you didn't of course you didn't consent to that relationship but that doesn't make it sexual assault and we need to make the we, we need to understand this people that cheat on their spouses or do stuff like that it's really shitty but it's not sexual assault um, it's just not the same thing. You, you can't push it that far. It's just, it's too much because if, if, if we're going to push this narrative that, um, cheating is sexual assault in some capacity, then sleeping with a trans person that doesn't tell you that they're trans is, is rape. That means that every trans person that doesn't say that they're trans, it's rape because it's the whole circumstance. Like, well, I didn't know all the factors. I didn't know every factor. I wouldn't have consented if this didn't happen. And you know what I'm saying? Like, I understand that you probably wouldn't have consented, but that doesn't make it sexual assault. And I feel like that's where we're going. We're going into some kind of like se like sexual abuse type of situation. And it feels very loaded and it doesn't feel like the honest way to, to uh, interact here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just don't think that that's the honest way to go. How far does this go? Like, if a girl dyed their hair blonde and like I had sex with her and I hated, I hated brunettes and she was really a natural brunette. And I'd be like, I wouldn't have consented with, you know what I'm saying? Like I'm, he violated her trust a hundred percent. But when it comes to like sexual assault aspect, it's just it's too much. You know, I know people consider that trans thing sexual assault. It's not. That's what I keep saying. Like I don't, I don't agree with that. 
Okay. I did. Yeah, she consented to the sex, but not the lie. Absolutely. It's different if he like intentionally gave her an STD. That's a bit different, but we I don't we haven't established that. I don't know if that legally makes it assault, and I don't want to say that it does. Because- See, she's like, I don't know if it de- technically makes it assault, and I don't want to say that it does. She's, it's very suggestive language. Like she's trying, she wants to say it's assault, but she knows that she socially shouldn't say that it's assault, and it's, it's just this pushes it too much, especially with the fucking sad song underneath it. It's like, okay, what the fuck's happening here? Because that's an accusation. I'm not preferred. I'm not. gonna get this video like i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do i don't know what the fuck i'm gonna do bro you knew full well how invested in you i was i bought tickets to see you twice ticket oh i thought she meant like a comedy ticket or like a, a show she bought like plane tickets to see him okay and every time you canceled I kept supporting you and just holding you during all your dark times. Wait, when he was canceled or every time you can't, he canceled on seeing you? Ice. And every time you canceled. Every time you canceled, not every time he was canceled. So he kept flaking on you. I'm not trying to be a douchebag. These are massive red flags that you should kind of be kind of aware of. Constantly buying things for somebody, um, them canceling on you constantly. I don't know. Like, this is... It's pretty big red flag. I mean, it's not this girl's fault. I don't want it to come off as like I'm blaming her. But I'm also very skeptical because, you know, get you to the moon, Kina. Like, what the fuck is this song? I kept supporting you and just holding you during oh all your dark times. And you know it. And you kept telling me how happy I made you. Okay. Sounds like a pretty typical fuckboy. Later on in the six months, a couple times you'd started wondering about it was later on it wasn't in the beginning it was later on Mm -hmm. it was a couple months before i saw you i told you no no what i told you no and you knew how much you meant to me what do you mean told you no what what is that told you no what it was later on it wasn't in the beginning it was later and later on in the six months a couple times you'd started wondering about it was later on it wasn't in the beginning it was later on it was a couple months before i saw you I told you no. To what? I told you no, and you knew how much you meant to me. And we could have talked about it later. What? I did not consent to that weekend as we had. You did. Cons- I- you did objectively consent to the weekend. The pretenses weren't fully made aware of, and that makes it shitty and a violation of your, res- your trust and your respect. But we need to stop talking about how this was non-consensual. I didn't. That is the violation of trust that I'm talking about. I didn't consent to this fucking song, let me tell you. Holy shit. As he also misrepresented what he was doing to another woman, he told her that I was perfectly okay with polyamory while I wasn't. Okay. He knew I wouldn't be, and he told her I was. You are, you are the this reason. This is lies and manipulation. This is what he's being accused of. Ooh, my lies and manipulation aren't the same thing as sexual assault. I just want you to be I'm that. This is absolutely. Chelsea, I'm curious, when he was asking for money because he had to move out and was in danger, is that true? Well, she already got the one story wrong about the 16-year-old girl thing, so let's see what she has to say. Absolutely true. He never misrepresented what he was going through. Okay. I was... So- I mean, listen, I'm not, not to be rude, but it sounds like you are lost in the sauce because you already said, like, oh, people were saying that she, he slept with a 16-year-old. People, people misinterpreted it. The girl was like, oh, he called me. He said I had the mentality of a 16-year-old. And then she criticized him for wanting to talk to somebody that he, by his logic, had the mentality of a 16-year-old. And now we're turning this. I, I just, I honestly don't know how much I believe the whole thing here. But maybe I'm wrong. Supporting him and, and talking to him the entire time. Uh, he was in very real danger. And as such, I desperately request TikTok to take this with grace. What is happening? Bro, I just, I can't. I don't take the the gar- crying seriously. The number one thing that gets me is you have a fucking sad song playing. You have a sad song playing. I want you to understand something. I understand TikTok, okay? This is what you do. You record a video on your fucking phone. You upload, you go to upload the video, and in the upload, you choose a song. So I'm like, hey, guys, it's me, Papa God, I farted. 
And then I go and I look at a song. Wow, what's the saddest song I could get? You are, you are the reason. And then all of a sudden, I'm, I'm, I farted. And you're sitting there listening to a sad song while I farted. I'm like, guys, I farted. And shit went all over my pants. And I'm a big guy. And you have to understand that. It's like really hard for me to get underwear. Because it's like $30 for like a pack of three underwear. You know what I'm saying? And it, I hate the framing of it because I'm supposed to be super empathetic. I'm empathetic to the story, but when you throw this framing into the story, it removes us from it. Because it's like, why the fuck did you have to put a sad song? Like, you felt like you need to emo emotionally invoke people through a sad song and then overloading the situation with sexual assault. And you're and like, I, and like, I would have been so empathetic to this girl if it wasn't for those two things, especially the song especially the song the song kills it for me the song really fucking kills it for me like it makes me not able to take it seriously and please do not come after him you're making like 10 minutes worth of content about this and then saying don't come after him you're literally saying that he sexually you're trying to load the, the conversation so much that he sexually assaulted you and then you're like, don't come after him but you're trying to you're trying to to suggest that he assaulted you. He, I mean, fucking crazy. I'm not going to talk about the year he's had. I don't it's care been really about it. bad, though. Okay. But it doesn't excuse what he did to me. But no one come after him, please. Um, everything he said about what was happening to him with the abuse with the neo Nazis, all of it is true. Every word, every word, and he he's never. Anyone underage, he's never. Or something. I think it would have been better, yeah, if she if she sang the song herself in acapella and then put it up underneath her song. You know what I mean? It would have been much more powerful. Listen to what I'm saying. This is the objective truth. I'm not, I'm not, I, I reject all other rumors about him. And I, and I condemn anyone who wants to spread them. They're lies to bring down a man of color, regardless of who he is. You know, not to be that guy, because what I think what Lance said was shitty, of course. But I, does this, this feel, this might feel like, <clears throat> this feels a little bit, okay. Let me pretext this. I don't, this isn't intentional necessarily, but you have a white woman over, Oh, is over exaggerating what happened to her by by trying to say that it was like sexual assault All right this woman is upset that she got played by a lesbian man okay and now she's crying and it sounds like an over prescription of the accusation and over like she's like don't cancel him but you know that the way that people are picking this up they're feeling like sexual assault sexual assault that's what the energy is and they're going to take her side over his because he's a fucking, he's a, he's an indigenous person. I'm just saying, dude, we really need to be aware of like the way that our subconscious bias invades us. And again, not a big fan of Lance, but who doesn't like a good white girl crying? It's the saddest thing in the world. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's a white girl's cry. Well, you know, the white ones are the most innocent. That's that's this that that is the narrative. That's the going narrative. I'm just saying, you know, and it's like really nice to be like, guys. I was, <laughs> bro. It's so fucked up because it's like he did a shitty thing to her, and this is the problem. This is where this is where it falls. It is so hard to defend this, but because people aren't gonna think about it objectively, he did a shitty thing. He was lied and manipulated this girl, a hundred percent. But her over prescription comes from like using sexually assault like or sexual assault like uh, language overloading it with that crying adding a sad song into it it comes off incredibly disingenuous and then she goes and then she tries to be virtuous by saying i'm not trying to cancel him he just raped me but don't cancel him shut the stop that that's what you're trying to say you're trying to say that this man raped you and then you got a white girl crying and then you're fucking trying to like take down a fucking indigenous person again i don't even like modern warrior but like and I'm not saying that she's trying to be racist, but this is the way that our minds perceive this. You see white girl crying and you care more than anything else. Truthfully, very fucking truthfully. 
Yeah, yeah, Mama Gut says he assaulted me. Here's his name, including his middle initial, but please don't go after him. Yeah, of course. Don't don't cancel this guy. This hey, hey, this guy was just doxxed and chased out of his home. Here's his first, last, and middle initial. But don't come after this guy that raped me. Okay, yeah, I believe that makes sense. By the way, you are, you are the reason. You, like, what the fuck is happening here? In all honesty, it, it, fucking for for serious. I'm just saying. Regardless of what he's done, there are lies representative of white oh supremacists, God. racists, obsessed with a native man. And you would do uh not for nothing, but who's the who's the girl with like a bunch of spiritual tattoos? A white girl with a bunch of spiritual tattoos said that she's learning Navajo to sexually lust after this guy. And again, he manipulated her. But like you seem like you might be the one obsessed with indigenous men. It sounds like you have a bit of a fetish for the indigenous culture, and you're like, all oh, these white supremacists. You're kind of you know what I mean? You're not a white supremacist because that's such overloaded language, but you fetishizing native guy, native lesbian guy, <laughs> you know, Riverdale season four trailer. You know, I'm just saying, what do we, you know what I mean? Like when you, when you, when you sit, take a step back, feels a little fetishy. You know what I'm saying? It feels a little fetishy. There is racism within the progressive community, and racism doesn't look the same. Racism tends to look like using social narratives to appear woke. But, like, the second this girl's in trouble, fuck this indigenous guy, you know what I mean? Do well not to repeat any of them. Okay. You don't want to repeat the words of attempted murderers. Be kind to him. I really want him. Shut the to fuck. do so much better. Oh my god. This is, this is All right, last one. How you can support me. I am sending you all of the love and light that I have. We are all here to help you. How can we help? Standing up for me. Okay, standing up for you. And standing up for the autonomy of all female bodies and all human bodies. Again, okay. Fully consenting to intimate sexual encounters with full knowledge of the context. So and how you can also support me is by fully shouting down inflammatory, outrageous, and dehumanizing rumors that are now popping up because people who want to kill Lance Sosi are latching onto them to restart their violence. Your you your words, the way that you're speaking about him, is encouraging um, uh, harassment. Your language is very is very loaded with "he raped me," and then you're saying, "Please, please don't hurt this guy." It, it, you're part of the violence of the you're part of the Lance violence pipeline at this point. I will not have my truth be tainted with racism and violence against a native man. See, performative. I'm not going to have it tainted. Oh, I just called this guy out and said that he was a rapist, but I'm not going to tolerate any racism. Lance J. Tulsi. Is it J? I'm not really listening to her because she's a woman. I'm just kidding. Don't. This man that's been doxxed, his, his full first, last, and middle initial, a native man. Don't be racist, but he raped me. It's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Lance J. Tulsi. <laughs> by spreading only the truth and supporting women honestly completely she's got a whole ass ring light but this i don't want any lies any inflammatory i don't want clout chasing and if you clout chase in my name i will drag you to kingdom come across the coals i will not have my pain tainted i'm so scared with the violence of nazis Fuck anyone who thinks they can do that. Wow, he's so brave. It's, it's really brave to take a stand that nobody disagrees with. Um, okay, listen. Here's the thing. I'm going to pee really quick, and I'm going to give this video a rundown in case I can't put this up on YouTube because of the fact that she used a fucking sad song. 
So I'm going to be right back and then we're going to do this. OK, so we just reviewed everything on the situation between Modern Warrior and this Chelsea individual. OK, and here's what it seems like happened. <clears throat> All right. Modern Warrior was engaging in some kind of a relationship with this girl for like six months, um, you know, talking to her through difficult times, uh, making her feel better while she showered him with gifts. <laughs> And he apparently flaked on her multiple times. Okay. Now, I don't know if he was married or not. That might have just been an unfounded rumor. But I'm bringing it up. Anyway, um, he mentioned things about being polyamorous. She said no. Um, she flew to go and hang out with him. They slept together without a condom on. Um, and then he, the next day he posted a TikTok with another girl. Which was really messed up. Which is terrible. <laughs> right? Uh, and this is one of the things you have to understand, okay? This is why you need to be very weary of, like, men that say they're feminists. Because in my experience, the men who are the most, who who virtue signal the most about respecting women are the least respectful to women. You see it with Modern Warrior, clearly here, and then you see it with, like, Joe Robe, okay? There are, there are people who weaponize social narratives to make themselves seem very virtuous. On the flip side, the problem I have with her videos is that every single one of them talking about Lance has the song, you are, you are the reason underneath the entire thing. This doesn't invalidate what happened to her because she was deeply disrespected by Modern Warrior, but it does show us something that comes off as disingenuous. She puts this song on here, which comes off as like very um, inflated. And then she very, very, very heavily insinuates that he sexually assaulted her. She, can't, she, she keeps saying, she keeps bringing up consent over and over. And then says like, oh, he violated me. He did this. He did that. And I'm not saying that he did those things, but he did those things. And then she says his full name and middle initial and says, don't cancel him. Don't cancel him. Lance J. Tulsi. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but don't cancel them. Don't cancel him. It feels like a virtuous cancel. It feels like overloading social narratives. Okay? Now, you could say, well, she didn't consent to being with him if he had another partner. That's true. But that doesn't make the sex non-consensual. It does make the relationship shitty and manipulative. Okay? But if we're going to go with this whole thing where we're saying that um, not being 100% aware, aware of somebody aware of somebody is sexual assault, then guess what? Having sex with a trans person who doesn't say that they're trans, that's now sexual assault, okay? Sleeping with somebody that has plastic surgery and you don't realize that like they're actually uglier than they are and they're going to have ugly kids, that's sexual assault. Not everything is sexual assault. He didn't like violate you in this violent way. He manipulated you. It's shitty and he's a fuckboy. But we, we cannot overload these social narratives. And one of the things that I'm really observing here, something that people really should understand, and I'm not saying that this is being actively done by her, but the reality is, is that you have a, listen, I don't like Lance, but you have an indigenous person of color who did a bad thing, who's having their, who, who is having what they did wrong overinflated, right? By a white woman crying, reinforcing it with crying. Historically, that's a problem. He needs to be called out, but the calling out is disproportionate to the thing that he did wrong. He manipulated her. He disrespected her. Um, he, uh, he used her trust, and that's shitty, but there is no sexual assault here, and it's way too loaded. Okay? Way too loaded. <laughs> And you need to understand that, like, you know, you kind of have to cut through all, 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 all the BS because, of course, you're going to have each person is going to affirm their position the, as much as possible. But you need to explore the middle ground there and figure out the appropriate response. Okay, so that's where we're at here. The biggest reason I had to do this is because she used that fucking song for her entire video, and it might get me DMCA'd. I don't know if I can edit it out. Uh. 
you know? And again, I want to just say one last thing. Her sitting down saying, (laughs) her sitting down, putting this sad song underneath the video, crying, trying to liken what he did to her as sexual assault, saying his full first, last, and middle initial, and then and then saying, oh, but don't cancel him and don't hurt him comes off as incredibly dishonest. It sounds like she's trying to do a virtuous cancel. And it's just like it's it's what he did was shitty. I want to be very clear. What he did was absolutely shitty. But there's a habit of people having like incredibly disproportionate responses. And then people are saying, well, because Lance did a bad thing, which he did, it doesn't matter what the judgment is. It doesn't matter what the punishment is because he deserves to be punished. And I agree. I agree with him deserving to be punished. Okay? But this is a disproportionate response. Okay? So, you know, either way, this is probably just about the end of, of his career. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And another special shout-out to all my Patreon and Twitch subs. If you'd like to support this channel further than you already have by just watching the video alone, go down to the links below where you can sub on my Patreon, which will allow you to get your name on this beautiful black wall. (laughs) Uh, Or you can go to the Twitch page, and you can actually use a free Amazon Prime sub, if you have Amazon Prime, to subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Take care.